In this video, we're going to take a look at the layout and the different workspaces available in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is really customizable to suit your own workflow. So we're also going to take a look at how you can arrange panels um, and make everything how you like it. So if you open up a sound in Adobe Audition, it might look something like what you can see on screen right now. And if it doesn't, don't worry too much because you might have a different preset open. Now to access the different presets, if you go to Window and Workspace, you can find a few of the different ones available, ranging from editing audio for video, down to radio production or mastering. And as you can see, there are opportunities to add new workspaces if that's something you wanna do. And we're gonna show you how. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the panels we've got open at the moment so we know roughly what everything does. We start on the left here. Now here's our file browser. And if you have different files open in this project, then you'll be able to select the different files available and edit them in this screen here. We also have our effects rack where you can apply different effects to each sound and favorites. Now we can look at favorites in a separate video, but favorites essentially lets you apply a range of different effects in a single click. So if you find yourself doing the same thing with several different sounds, you can set up a favorite to allow you to do that in just a single click. Moving down here, we have our transport, which allows you to obviously uh, play, record, move to different parts of the waveform. The time shows you where you are I just move around, it shows you where you are in the waveform above. Zooming, which we'll look at in another video later on, but that allows you to zoom right in and do some very precise editing of your audio. And then finally, selection view, uh, allow, just tells you which parts of the waveform that you have selected. Now, if you have a widescreen monitor, standard 1080p like I do, then you will see that there's a lot of redundant space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make better use of that space. So what you can do in Audition is move these panels around. So let's take the time panel, for instance. What I can do is click and hold, and I can drag it to a different part of the screen. Now, as you can see, as I move around a different panel in this sort of purpley blue color, different sections are being highlighted. If I drag, drag it over a central panel, you can see it gets its own tab. I don't really need the time to be in its own tab, so I'm actually gonna put it somewhere else. And if I show you, you can put it down on this bottom panel here, in which case it puts it below the panel that you have open. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. Um, you can have floating windows as well. And floating windows is particularly useful if you have more than one screen in your setup. So you might want to put the waveform on its own monitor. So if you wanted to do that, for instance, you can click where it's, you can see the three lines. And these three lines you can find are next to the title of every panel. And if you click that, it gives you a menu. Now you can close the panel if you don't want to see it, or you can undock the panel. And if you undock a panel, you can see it gets its own floating window. And if I want to put that back, I can just drag it and put it back like that. So that's how you can undock uh, a different panel. Now these panels you can see here, you're not limited to, to just those. If you go to window again, you can see that there's quite a few different ones that you can add to your workflow. For instance, the media browser, and that's a particularly popular one. It acts like a file browser that you'd have in uh, Windows or in OS X, and that basically lets you look around the contents of your computer now, I'm gonna put this, it loads it in a new tab, I'm gonna put this just above my time panel here. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna drag it to where this purple area is at the bottom. And now it gets its own window. And as you can see, I can resize things just by moving my mouse to the top and dragging like you do in all sorts of other applications. So I've got my file browser immediately open and I can get to um, all my different files that I have available. Now, one other thing about the menu that you can bring up on each panel is some of it brings up additional options related to that panel. So, for example, you can enable autoplay, which means if you click a sound, it will automatically give you a preview or um, start playing the sound so you can hear which file you're selecting. And there's all sorts of other ones that are available 
depending on which pa which panel you have you have chosen. Now I've built a, a slightly different layout here. I'm going to add a few more bits. Um, let's add phase meter, which is put it down here. Now I can move that across there. Now I can see a phase meter. Um, let's add track panel. Now track panel. Again, I can put things uh, to one side of the screen. Can you see at the side there, I've got a green strip. If I put it on a green strip, it makes everything else smaller. And then that allows me then um, to customize the workspace further by adding uh, additional columns at the side. Now I've created a custom layout. If I want to save that, I can just simply go to Window, Workspace, and New Workspace. And then I can just give it a title. And then that will be available um, on my menu, as you can see there. Now I can go back to my classic. Now, now you've noticed I've gone back to classic, but it hasn't changed anything because it's still remembered uh, the layout that I used before. So if at any point you make an adjustment to a workspace and you want to go back, you can just go to reset classic, um, just click yes, and it will put everything back to how it was before. And that will work with the young ones you create. So if I go back to my custom workspace, and let's just say I move a few things around. Um, it's gonna look a bit of a mess now. Um, so I've moved a, moved a few things around there. Now, I haven't saved it, so at any point I can just go to reset, and I can reset that workspace back to how it was. So that's a little bit of a tour around Adobe Audition and how you can customize the workspace to suit however it is you wish to work.